Today was a fun day. I was at the carnival. And I was there with my friend and his dad. We were leaving whenever this old woman came up to me. I was only 10 at the time. But I didn't know why it was that she grabbed me and started to hold me in the air. She started whispering something to my face. I couldn't hear what it was, but I could hear that she was whispering. Something about you run, something like that. After she finished, she just stared into my eyes. That's when her glasses started to show a a little red dot. Like, maybe she was a robot? She then started to grin with sharp teeth coming out. And then she threw me to the ground, making me twist my ankle. And then around the corner of one of the cars behind the old woman, my friend and his dad started coming out. Before they could see it, that woman started shape-shifting into my mom. And then I woke up. I was in my room, but something wasn't right. Either everything was discolored, colored the wrong way, designed the wrong way, or things were missing and replaced with new stuff. Upon awaking, it was dark in the room. The light was off, there were no lights in the hallway, and it was still dark outside. I assumed that I had woken up because it was around the time I would get up for school. Whenever I sat up, I noticed that my cousin, or my brother, whichever you want to say, wasn't in his bed. His sheets looked as if he had gotten up, maybe, to use the restroom or something. But there was nothing bad about it. They looked like they were taken off, but neatly designed before he had left. Confused, I... Then got out of bed and started making my way to the hallway. When I was to the room in the hallway, I then looked into the guard or the parents' room where mom and dad were not at. But their sheets and blankets were just, they were taken the same way as my brother. They looked like that someone had gotten out of bed, but it looked like someone had neatly designed them back in a like in a fancy way. I then started walking the rest of the way down the hallway. That's when I noticed that there was a dim light blue light coming from the bedroom on the far side of the house. I knew that they must have been gone too. I decided to start slowly unlocking the door before whatever was in here and had taken my family would have gotten me. So, when I unlocked the door, I then opened it and I started running, running to the neighbors behind us. Immediately, that's when I noticed their door was already open with their light to the living room on. The the recliners were there, but no one was in them. As I got closer, about 20 feet from the doorway, I'd say, there was the outline of a figure that was hunched over. Its back was facing me, and it was in between the doorway and the recliner. It kept raising its hand to its mouth and back onto the recliner. Like it was eating something. I could even hear a type of sickening crunch coming from it. Even though I was outside. I then immediately looked to my left. And noticed there was a big trash can. And I decided to jump in there and hide. Right as I closed the door and I was in darkness. I then woke up from my bed again, and then got up to use the restroom, thankful that it was all a dream. Whenever I came out, I heard a meow that startled me very bad. 
And then when I looked, I couldn't see anything, so I pulled out my phone light that I must have fell asleep with in my pocket. Whenever the light shone on my cat, it was just standing there. Not on two legs, obviously, the four legs, but the body was facing the door while the head was turned facing me. And I jumped back in fear whenever it had meowed, and I went back into the bathroom and then looked at it again and restared only to see that it was closer. I then ran back to the bedroom and where my brother was at. He was asleep still, and I had hid under the covers, only to hear the sounds of meows and moans coming from the hallway. As I covered myself in my blanket, the last thing I or paid attention to was a type of long pale finger hand thing starting to come from the doorway as I still heard the moans and meows. The end. I hope y'all like this story. Comment if y'all do.